This tradition is mirrored in Egypt, where incestuous activities were practiced regularly among the royalty for the same reasons. The first pharaoh named Osiris and his wife Isis were in fact twin brother and sister, and said to be born the son of Geb and Nut, or the Egyptian gods of earth and sky, symbolically meaning a mix of an earthly race and sky god DNA. What is more, a quick examination of the mummified remains of Egyptian royalty and noble class families reveals a startling number of Nordic Aryan features, including hair color and facial structure. This, however, is not the most startling discovery found in an ancient Egyptian or Incan tomb. Get this, they have found the carefully mummified remains of what clearly appear to be alien graves. In a special room in the back of a private museum in Arequipa, Peru, is a strange mummy. Museum records indicate that the mummy came from a group of locals who made excavations at the location of a grave in an almost inaccessibly high cave in the mountains near Trace Cruces that they believe the Incas had hidden and which was decorated with strange snake symbols. In Egypt, archaeologist and retired professor Dr. Victor Lubeck found the body of a perfectly preserved, carefully mummified alien buried in a hidden compartment of a small ancient monument dating back more than 2,000 years from the dynasty of Sesostris II. The details and photographs of the find were provided by an insider source from the Egyptian Antiquities Department under the condition of anonymity. This anonymous messenger reports that the discovery has caused great consternation among Egyptian officials who want to keep it hidden until they come up with a plausible explanation for the strange mummy. He says the government has consulted a number of respected archaeologists, but to date none can explain the finding, and that every expert who has seen the mummy has concluded that it is not of earthly origin, and that there is a sense that this is an alien who somehow ended up advising an Egyptian king. This is probably because inscriptions on the tomb of the mummy showed that he was a counselor named Osirinet, meaning star or sent from heaven. This is very interesting because Sesostris II, as a Nordic Aryan, had great contempt like his father for the Nubians of South Africa and viewed them as vile. And during his reign, he officially forbade Negroes from entering Egypt. And then his son, Sesostris III, conducted four campaigns against the blacks with the final conquest of Nubia in 1840 BC. He constructed several forts at strategic points on either side of the Nile, making Nubia a permanent colony of Egypt, and erected the world's first whites only sign with the first Semna Stella inscription recounting the subjugation of Nubia. Under 